Hello everyone. Uh, this is a new uh, video for creating a log inside this blog and work how to connect the FortiGate and Palo Alto to this blog. Basically, I have three uh, devices here. One of them is Palo Alto. The other one is uh, FortiGate. And the last one is Splunk. And my goal is to send a log from FortiGate and Palo Alto to Splunk and work with uh, uh, the uh, FortiGate app and the Palo Alto app inside the Splunk. So I, I do a basic configuration because uh, I need to send a log. I'll go inside the FortiGate. I start with the FortiGate. I go under log and report log settings and send a syslog so my splog server is uh, this IP address 37 sorry 37 and I'm gonna send all logs uh, all features all traffic logs and event logs and then you should uh, click on apply so yeah and this is for 40 gate if you have a policy inside the, your security policy, you can also set that one, but uh, it's easy. Just you go under security policy and uh, inside uh, the log, the session, you can select your session and send traffic. And this one was for uh, gate so you come back to uh, your Splunk and find more app you will search for 40 gate and then install uh, these two apps I make it smaller my window page so this one Splunk uh, 40 gate 40 net 40 gate app for Splunk so you install this one with your username and password so and then you you will install this one for the for the net for the gate add-on for its plan so I'll do the same thing for this one and yeah done so after you have done you have this app here so you go under setting um, data input so you can create an index but the easiest way is just go under UDP and create a new local UDP you know that the 40 gate is send the syslog through port uh, 514 so 514 UDP you select that one and uh, because you have already added the uh, app you can select from here fgt underline log yeah this one and the app is going to be 40 gate 40 net uh, 40 gate app for splunk this one and uh, because we have selected default index you can leave it as just as a default the other items and then submit it uh, start search because i'm using index so uh anyway we we go on the 40 net 40 gate app let's check from here to see that does it connect to our yeah look it connects to our session virtual domain and device as trying to see uh, https traffic web management traffic and other stuff so also I can go to other things that we have here, event dashboard and system dashboard. So this way, uh, when you set it as a data input, uh, this app works properly. And uh, yeah, this one is for 40, uh, 40 gate. So you can do this one uh, for Palo Alto, I'll just connect to my Palo Alto and uh, you need a syslog in Palo Alto so I, I configure this one Splunk my server is Splunk 
and then you can one four two two three two enter two three two one nine seven thirty seven UDP I use another port like fifty five fourteen so I can send the syslog through this port and locks under lock settings you can go and uh, try to configure this item so I, I call it splunk so I want to send all logs and you assign only the profile that you have created in previous step the splunk syslog profile and for this one also you can send the configuration log so syslog and you assign it um yeah I, I will call this one splunk don't forget in inside the palo alto uh, you should commit your configuration so i will commit you my configuration and then in the meantime i come back to my splunk and i will add this apps again uh paulo alto i search paulo alto i have two apps here uh, one of them add-on apps so i will add the first one this one so i enter my username it's gonna install this app and it'll need a restart so i'll restart it my splunk so let's see yeah this one completed so uh, i just wait until splunk enterprise restart it will prompt me yeah there you go so i can log in again then uh, i will install the next one so uh again and now you have the both both apps so you can go under setting it's a few seconds to download it and install yeah done so you go under uh, data input the easiest way is through the data input uh, you can create default index for each of them uh, let's do this way with index because yeah i want to learn that you how you can create with index so you can go and here enter this one is paulo alto index and you can assign like 10 10 gig because this one use the maximum size of your uh, Splunk for indexing so 10 gig is enough um, then um, so and after you create this one you can go to data input and UDP create a new UDP this this time my UDP port is 5514 I created inside the Palo Alto and the same thing because you have created the Palo Alto PA pan and there are some options here pan uh, logs it will give you a uh, logs of this Palo Alto you can select also Palo Alto Splunk app and because we created the index you can select this one next and uh, next and start searching so basically you should have some um, logs so uh, let's let's see we have a log or not 
so to generate some logs again i can log out from uh, palo alto and log in again so it'll generate some log yeah it'll generate some logs you can see that admin is connected so then you can go under palo alto app and yeah i skipped the tour and something that here you should know that for example thread needs uh, some traffic but under my this palo alto and this for you there isn't any traffic so i don't have any policy so the only thing you can check is real time event fit and this one should work because um, this is a real time event from palo alto device let's see what is the result we're waiting for the data so let's let's wait for a second to see that shouldn't be okay so um there was an issue here, so I correct um, my data input because uh, it seems that this app is set for a default index and you cannot use your own index. So you go under uh, your um, data input and more settings and select, instead of a Palo Alto, select the default index. And then if you come back to your app, you should receive some logs. Um, you go under real time event. So uh, the issue was, um, I guess the index. So now I am receiving to try uh, to test more. You can enter wrong password here. Like I am entering wrong password to see that how Palo Alto reacts. So if you come back to your, you can see that, okay, we have a 21 events and uh, you can go through each of them. Uh, click on each of them to see uh, what is the event. So I can also search based on the panel this time. So you can see 11, three uh, events uh, happens here events happens here so also i can log in yeah then this way this apps works uh, so that's that's something that you can if you generate some traffic uh, then you should able to see to work with other other things like web activity uh, or if you have a vpn you can have a global protect network security and other stuff i hope this has been informative and thank you for watching